Hello to all students. Today we are going to see the simple concept of mitosis and meiosis. It's usually a big problem among student that they confuse that they get confused between these two terminologies. But these two terms are very simple and very very important to understand. So today I am here to clear all your confusion and to make sure that if question related to this topic comes in your neat examination then you do not make mistake and easily fetch your four marks. So are you all ready to study the concept of mitosis and meiosis? Chalo. So let's start. What is mitosis? Basically beta mitosis is also known as equational cell division why it is known as equational cell division because the number of chromosome as well as the amount of dna received by the daughter cell at the end of complete division is same as that of the parent cell parent and daughter are identical they are equal in terms of the number of chromosome and DNA. That is why mitosis is also known as equational cell division. So what happens during mitosis? Why it is known as equational cell division? Because parent, because daughter cell receives the same amount and the same number of chromosome receives the same number of chromosome and DNA as compared to parent cell. So both parent and daughter they are identical hence equal from one cell two daughter cells are obtained and both the daughter cells are same as that of parent equal as that of parent therefore mitosis is also known as equational cell division. So that means for example if my parent cell is deployed having 2c amount of DNA then from this two daughter cells will be produced by mitosis having same number of chromosome and same amount of DNA. Clear? Now will you get confused what is mitosis? No? Absolutely great. Second is meiosis. Unlike that of mitosis beta Meiosis is known as reductional cell division. It is known as reductional cell division. And why it is known as reductional cell division? Reduction means half because if the parent cell is deployed if the parent cell is having two complete sets of chromosome then the daughter obtained will have just the half number of chromosome and half the amount of DNA. Correct? That means if in meiosis the parent cell is 2n having 2c amount of DNA then at the end of complete meiosis first of all beta Four daughter cells will be obtained. In mitosis, two daughter cells are obtained. But in meiosis, four daughter cells are obtained, each having half the number of chromosome. So the parent cell is deployed. Hence, the daughter cells will be haploid. And half the amount of DNA, if the initial amount is 2C, then each daughter will have only half the amount of DNA. So here the daughter cells produced are neither identical, they are similar but not identical and the amount which they receive is just half. The amount gets reduced. That is why 
meiosis beta is also known as reductional cell division correct understood everyone so what is mitosis equational cell division what is meiosis reductional cell division and now i don't think so any of my student will get ever confused in these two terms one more thing i would like to add mitosis helps in repair and increasing the number of cells of the body whereas meiosis help in fertilization it helps in formation of gametes so with this i hope you all have understood and will now not commit any mistake related to it